What's up, my comic community? My name is Cullen, and I collect comics, and today is Tuesday the 8th, and we're doing another video. Uh, we're uh, doing my Things from Another World order, and uh, Things from Another World is uh, an awesome uh, shop that's uh, out of Oregon, and uh, yeah, I'd love to actually go to their physical shop sometime. Uh, also, uh, they put it in a huge box, like, I mean, we're talking this box was massive this week because and I forgot why I'm like what could it be I had no clue how big this was gonna be or whatever but apparently it was a freaking uh oh uh I should know or treasury edition uh size of uh Mr. Easter number one that I bought and uh yeah it's cool as hell and uh yeah I love it I love Mr. Easter but, all right, we're going to uh, move on to the books also from uh, Things from Another World, like I said. And we've got Batman, Audio Adventures, issue number seven of seven, and this is the B cover. Next, we got a Blaze You Dead Homie, number one from Source Point, And this Blaze You Dead Homie, uh, he's uh, a uh, rapper, used to be with Psychopathic, now he's with Magic Ninja Entertainment. So uh, I picked that up just because uh, I like Source Point stuff, and I thought that was interesting. Uh, anytime that it's Juggalo related, I'll try to pick something up. Uh, we got a Tenement number two, uh, and yeah, this is those Bone Orchard stuff. Uh, I've been trying to get it. I really need to get the first Bone Orchard stuff. But uh, got Curse of Cleaver County number uh, three finally from Source Point, and. Uh, we got another Indigo Children number five, so that'll be, you know, my third or fourth copy of that. We got a Katsuni number five. We got DC Night Terrors. Uh, the, uh, this is the uh, regular just Night Terrors, and this is the B cover, I believe, done by Francisco Matea. And uh, I know it's dark as heck and it's hard to see, but it's really cool looking. Uh... Next, we got these Angel Angel Breaker Night Terrors 1, and we got the, uh, they were so good, I couldn't not get most of them. Uh, like this uh, Evan Tao cover, I always like Evan Tao's work. And then this Leslie Lee Eric's cover is just sweet. And of course, every single time, knock it out of the park, Dustin Wynn. All these Dustin Wynn Night Terror covers have been dope. Next, we have the Night Terrors Detective Comics. And we got that cover done by him. And uh, then for Harley, I got another Jenny Frizen one. Of course, I love Jenny's stuff. And then I've got a Harley Dustin Wynn also. Uh, you've seen both of these if you watched my videos before. Uh, we got the Titans one now, too. Uh, neighbors, somehow I ended up picking up two copies of number... Uh, Four or five of five, but I've picked up some a lot of the neighbors stuff. Uh, I did on purpose pick up two copies because my cousin James also gets this uh, n this uh, nightclub, and this is the ending of nightclub. And uh, yeah, we've uh, got uh, the B cover, which is just the black and white, like they always do. And then per evil man. Per Evil number one, I'm going to have to pick up all of it. Uh, I mean, it's Marika and Nolfo, whom I like a lot of her stuff. Then on top of it, artwork's done by Laura Braga. And, I mean, Laura Braga stuff's great. You got a cover by Laura Braga right here that looks great. Then, of course, because Marika's stuff's awesome too, you've got this Marika cover that is great too who else can we bring to the table that I love I don't know how about a beautiful cover by Peach Momoko cause you know could it get any better than a Peach Momoko I don't know let's see hmm. we got Sozo Micah doing a cover too per evil it just it's great like looks, looks awesome I can't wait to read this covers by like most a lot of my favorite artists i mean obviously you've seen a lot of my favorite artists in a lot of these covers you see the stuff that i pick up 
We, of course, speaking of another person I like a lot, Ed Piscar is a great creator. Here's the newest issue of Red Room. You know, I always get Red Room when I can. Next, we've got uh, Rick and Morty, issue number seven. We got the B cover here, and I believe this is the C cover. My cousin James gets those. Uh, plus, I'm working on two. I was working on two sets of these. I got two full sets now. This is seasons. Uh, the oh, uh, this is the uh, seasons have teeth, and you know it's uh, four issues, four seasons. I'm sure, but uh, yeah, I uh, finally uh, finishing that run. Then we're moving on to. Uh, Turtles, Yusaki Ojimbo, and we got the Stan Sakai cover right here that looks great. And then, of course, we have our fun Kevin Eastman cover that looks like Kevin Eastman. I mean, it's uh, not my favorite Kevin Eastman piece. I also don't dislike it. I like Kevin Eastman's stuff even when it's basic because I like how you – I mean, I don't know. Uh, ever since I was a kid, you know, and I was looking at the old Ninja Turtle stuff when it first came out, that's how I noticed the artwork – and, you know, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles came out on cassette, the, C the album. Whenever you open up the set, it came with this awesome sticker, Kevin's artwork. And, I mean, you know, it's just like, I like Kevin's stuff even when it's not the best of Kevin's stuff. Next, we're moving on to Venom 23. And, apparently, I have another cut, yet another cover. So, that's five, I think, total of this Venom 23 Black, uh, Black Widow cover. I probably need to flip a couple of those real quick. Uh, we got World Tree number 23, or num number 4, you know, because I'm trying to build up sets of World Tree. I don't know how long, if it's going to be ongoing for long. I need to get back to reading World Tree, because I really like it. Next, we've got, I got a, ended up with a second copy of this, too. Spider-Gwen, Rose, Betch, Betch cover. I mean, it's a cool cover. It's got a lot of that cool pink on it. It's definitely, uh, yeah. Uh... Next, we have an amazing Howard the Duck cover from Hellfire Gala. And uh, du Gustavo Duarte is the uh, artist for this. Then we have a Stormbreakers cover by Lucas Wernick, which is also Hellfire Gala. And look at her. Dazzler looking awesome. Old school 70s, but all right. This is what I picked up from uh, Things from Another World. Uh, you know, uh, sometimes these uh, orders really surprise me because, like, like I totally forgot about this Howard the Duck because I don't, you know, I order them so ahead of time. Sometimes the cover's not even on there yet, and I'm just, like, looking at the artist, or if it says something like Howard the Duck, I'm going to pick it up. But, yeah, and this Mr. East, I had no clue it was treasury size. I just looked at it, saw it saw it had a decent price on it when it first came out and hit it because it was Mr. Easter. I mean, I like Mr. Easter a lot. Uh, one of my more favorite Scout, that one and She Bites was really good. I mean, there's a lot of cool Scout stuff, but yeah, I'm going to get off here and I will holler at y'all later. Uh, peace out. Uh, thanks for watching and I will talk to y'all soon. See ya.